Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to shade a cube. So first of all, we're going to start with our basic shape, which is a square. It does not need to be a perfect square. You're just going to draw the best square that you can. Once you've drawn that square from each of the corners, depending on which way you want your square to be facing, you can pick either way. I'm going to have mine um, kind of coming off to the right. So from each of these three corners, I'm going to have a slanted line that comes out from all three of these corners. All three of these lines are parallel to each other. And from there, I'm just going to connect our lines. So from here, I'm going to connect down to this corner. And from here, I'm going to connect down to this corner or over to this corner. Okay. So now that I've kind of drawn out my lines, I can solidify. I drew them really light in case I needed to erase. So now I am darkening my lines since I know that these are the lines I want to keep. And I'm going to erase the lines I don't want that were kind of sketchy when I first started it. I want this cube to look nice, neat, and complete. That is what craftsmanship is all about. Okay, so now I have my cube, and we need to start adding value to this cube, some shading. Okay, so first I'm going to pick the light source. Um, so for the light source, I'm going to choose to have a light source over here on the left side. So you can choose to have it on the right or the left. It's really up to you. So this is where the sun is going to be, the light source. So the sun kind of points down its rays this side of the box. Okay, so that means that the top of the box is going to be kind of a middle value. Um, so if you look at your value scale, I would say probably um, a like three or four could work for up here. And then the middle, the, so the light. So the light source is going to be over here and the rays are kind of pointing this side of the box. So the top is going to be the lightest value because the rays are directly hitting the top of the box. And then the front of the box, this front plane, is going to be a middle tone value. So maybe like a three or a four on your value scale. And then the right side of the box is going to be completely in shadow. The sun does not reach this side. So this is going to be the darkest side of the box. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start shading with the darkest side of the box, just because I think that's the easiest one to start with, because it's as dark as your pencil will let you go. And when I say pushing harder on your pencil, I don't mean pushing so hard that your pencil breaks or that your paper rips. I just mean um, using your pencil and pushing down on the pressure so that we can get your pencil as dark as it allows you to go. I'm nice and neat filling in this plane, this side of my box. I'm not letting myself go outside the lines. I'm not rushing. I'm filling it in nice and neat. I think it helps if you use your pencil sideways. I'm kind of holding it sideways. That gets a nice, even pressure and value. I think mechanical pencils um, don't give you uh, as wide of a range of value as a normal pencil does. So my tip to you would be to use a normal pencil that you have at home. But if all you own is mechanical, then it is what it is. Just use whatever you've got at home. But a normal pencil versus a mechanical, normal is going to be better. Okay, so there is my dark value. And now I'm ready to go on to my medium value. So up here on the front of my cube, we're going to go to a middle value, medium value. So not super light, but not as dark as that either. Again, I'm still holding my paper or my pencil off to the side instead of like directly on top like this. I'm holding it off to the side so that I can get a nice, even, consistent value. Okay. 
Okay, sometimes turning the paper can help to make sure you go all the way up to your edges and your lines of your box. Here I am going over it, the pencil lines in a different direction. You don't have to keep all of your pencil lines in the same direction, your shading. Okay, so now I've got my front of the cube. The front of the cube is a middle value. Okay, so the last part of this, well actually second to the last part, the, the next part is the highlight where the light is directly hitting the top of this block of this cube. So the top is gonna be even lighter than this. It's gonna be super light. I'm barely touching the paper with my pencil. Barely touching the paper with my pencil. Making sure I go all the way up to the corners and edges of the box. And there I've got the top part of my box. So the last step is the cast shadow. This is what really makes it look like it's sitting on something, like sitting on a floor or on a desk or something like that. Um, it makes it look even more realistic. So since my sun, my light source is over here on the left, it's hitting the, this side of the box. So the shadow would be on the opposite side of the light source. So my shadow, since my light source is on the left, my shadow is going to be on the right. So the shadow is always going to come from the bottom of the object. So And it's going to usually take on the same shape as the object itself. So here, the cast shadow is going to start from the bottom of my square, and it's going to come out kind of at an angle since the it's directly opposite of my light source. And it's going to be a similar shape to the cube. Okay, now I have the light source. I put the, um, not the light source, the shadow. Put the shadow also coming from this corner and connected it to this part of the cast shadow because the front is also not really seeing that sun as much. Okay, so all of this right here is going to be my cast shadow. And cast shadows are dark. Um, so they are going to be really dark at the base of the cube and as it gets further out towards this edge of the shadow it's going to slowly disappear so it's going to kind of be like when we did the gradient uh smooth gradient of um a cast or not a cast shadow of the value scale so it's going to be darker here and as i move my way out towards the edge of the shadow it's going to get a little lighter and a little lighter and a little lighter so from here I'm starting dark and I'm gradually going lighter and lighter with my pencil until the shadow just kind of disappears. Again, on this side, going dark, gradually getting lighter and lighter as it disappears. I'm gonna add a little bit more on the dark part of my shadow. I think my shadow's a little too light still right now. And there I have my cast shadow. So now it kind of looks like it's actually sitting somewhere on a surface because of that cast shadow. And there you have a shaded cube.